What to know when selling your home in the Greenville, South Carolina area. Hello and welcome. My name is Bill Stewart. I'm a real estate agent with Remax Moves and I serve the greater Greenville area. Today I'm here to share valuable insights on selling your home in our dynamic market. Whether you're a first time seller or seasoned in real estate, this guide is tailored to simplify your journey from listing to closing. Selling a home involves several key steps. It starts with listing your property, marketing it effectively, navigating offers, and finally the closing process. Now it's natural to feel overwhelmed, but don't worry. With the right game plan, the process can be streamlined, reducing stress and maximizing your success. Understanding today's market is crucial. Uh, the price that was right yesterday may not be the right price today. And in my market analysis, I look at active, sold, pending listings, days on markets. But what I'm really interested in is where buyers are currently looking at, as well as the price points where the most activities in, in terms of showings happening. So let's imagine if you were taking your home to an auction, would you prefer to go where there are 10 people or 100? Which one of those would you think is going to generate the most amount of interest in offers? So my goal is to show clients the price range where the property will get the most attention and giving them the best chance to attract both showings and offers. Now, setting the right price is a blend of science and market savvy. It's about attracting the highest number of active and capable buyers at the right time. What I tell clients is that it's not where you list, it's where we land. So understanding what buyers are looking at and the price points of where they are and generating a strategy around that increases the ability for us to have a successful home sale. So the condition of your home can make or break a sale. First impressions count, and that's where curb appeal and staging come into play. A well-maintained exterior invites a buyer in, while a beautifully staged interior allows them to envision living there. Remember, investing in your home's appearance can significantly impact the offers that you receive. Now, once you set the stage, the next step is to market it. And for my clients, this includes professionally shot photography, video tours, and virtual floor plans, that allow buyers to see the home online and walk it, walk into it from anywhere and anytime. By combining all of these together, it helps buyers get a more accurate idea of the size and layout of the property, also making it easier for them to decide if the home will fit their needs. This way, when they come out to physically visit the home, they are merely fact-checking that it matched what they saw online. Now, marketing strategies are uniquely tailored to each property, but the first is to identify agents who have clients and are actively showing properties in similar price points and in the areas and neighborhoods in and around your house, reaching out to them and inviting them to come take a look at the property. Next is a combination of print and digital marketing, allowing us to use the photos and video that we shot earlier, tailoring it into different messages, and then specifically sending it out to help attract buyers and increase our overall showings and offers. Utilizing video, video and social media platforms increases awareness as well, while also letting us expand the audience outside of a local market, but also reaching individuals who may not be actively looking for homes, but may know someone who, who is or could potentially be motivated if the right property came available. While MLS is a powerful tool, a strategic marketing plan is essential to keep the property top of mind and continue to generate interest, offers, and showings. With the right pricing and presentation, you're in a great position with the best potential to attract multiple offers. This is where strategy comes in. Understanding not all offers are equal, it's important to review each offer, understanding not just the sales price, but also the terms, contingencies, and timelines to ensure you get the most from the sale. Now, the highest bid is not always the best choice, so it's important to understand the fine print. Multiple offers do allow for better leverage in negotiations, which helps to really get uh, better than expected results in terms of sale price and bottom line for sellers. Once you accept an offer, the next steps are inspections and potential repair requests. Now, this phase can be tricky, but with the right strategy, these requests can be negotiated to keep the deal on track while also respecting your bottom line. What I like to do is discuss these scenarios with clients prior to even going on the market so that we can ensure that we have a strategy ahead of any contract that comes in, helping to minimize surprises and headaches while also uh, being able to address any issues that arise. And that also helps to allow for a more efficient negotiation process. So one of the common questions I get is, when will I receive my money after closing? And generally you can expect to receive the funds the same day or within a few days post-closing. I mean, this is the moment where all the efforts pay off, literally. If you're ready to take this next step in selling your home in Greenville, I'm here to help. 
contact me at the phone number and the email below, and I'll offer personalized advice and support. Together, we can make your home selling journey a resounding success. I want to thank you for watching, and don't forget to click the like button if you found this helpful.